Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand one scenario based network engineer interview question. One of my paid student received this question in interview. He shared the question with me and I am asking same question to you. If you know the answer, let me know your answer in the comment section. Okay, so question is, here you are able to see the scenario. This is my scenario between router 1 to router 3. We are running OSPF routing protocol or you can consider any protocol EIGRP, REAP, BGP, OSPF right for the connectivity between these routers. Okay, we are running one routing protocol for connectivity. Now the IP address which PC1 is using from the same network PC2 is also using IP address right here you can see the IP address of PC1 is 192.168.10.1 and IP address of PC2 is 192.168.10.10 network ID of both IP address will be same because slash value is 24 192.168.10.0 this is the network ID of both PC. So question is can PC1 ping to PC2? If your answer is yes, definitely then you need to watch this video. If your answer is no, PC1 cannot ping to PC2. Then guys tell me the reason why it will not ping. At which device your ICMP traffic will drop or this PC will generate ICMP traffic or not. This PC will resolve ARP or not, right? If this machine will generate ARP, then tell me ARP will drop at which device, right? This question, these questions is asked by the interviewer to my page, a student. Okay. So definitely answer of this question is no. This PC cannot ping to PC2. PC1 cannot ping to PC2 because both belongs to same network. Okay. So what happen if you will ping from here, from PC1 to ping 192.168.10.1. 10. What this machine will do? This machine will generate an ICMP request. Right? With the ICMP request, it will add IP header. Source IP will be what? 192.168.10.1. Destination IP will be what? 10.10. .10. And in the protocol field value will be 1. Right? After that, at layer 2, source MAC will be MAC address of PC1. Destination MAC will be the MAC address of 10.10 .10 because according to this machine destination belongs to same network right so this machine is not going to generate R for their default gateway directly this machine will generate R for the destination yes or no yes this machine will generate ARP so in the ARP table of PC first of all PC will check their ARP table ARP you can see there is no any entry in the inside the ARP table of PC1 so PC need to generate ARP. So what this PC will do? This PC will put this actual ICMP traffic on hold and it will generate one ARP request. ARP. Where source MAC will be what? MAC address of PC1 and destination MAC will be what? Broadcast. Yes. This broadcast traffic, this broadcast frame will be received by this router and what this router will do? This router will simply drop the traffic because target IP address inside the ARP will be 10. 10 and this router is not 10.10 .10. so this router will simply discard the ARP request yes or no if destination belongs to different network then here proxy ARP is enabled by default so definitely it will share their own MAC address instead of the MAC address of destination but if destination belongs to same network then this router will not provide their own MAC address MAC address of default gateway yes or no so here if you want to check proxy ARP here you can see by running command show interface f0 slash 0 you can check by default proxy ARP is enabled here right but here proxy ARP will not work because destination belongs to same network so this machine is not able to resolve ARP yes or no ARP request will be dropped on router number 1 so this is the reason why PC1 will not ping to PC2 Okay, so if you will ping from PC1 to PC2 now, let me check, ping 192.168. You know, 10.10. .10. Definitely it will not ping. Yes, because our request is dropping over router 1. Yes or no? 
until this machine will not resolve ARP, it will not send actual ICMP traffic. Yes or no? Okay, guys. Next question is here. I am going to change the IP address. Here I am saying network is 20 over here, 20, and here also it is. I am saying you know 20.10. Okay. Now on the router number three, I am going to change the IP address. Interface f0 slash 0 say IP address 192.168.20.20.255.255.255.0 now here on PC number 2 also I am going to configure the IP address again IP 192.168.20.10 20.10/24 and gateway is 192.168.20.20 right now can i ping from pc1 to pc2 yes now definitely it will work 192.168.20.10 see i am getting reply okay now third question is third question is if i will configure here submit mask as you know slash uh, 30 then will it ping here slash value is different here slash value is different then will it ping or not tell me then will it ping or not here i am not going to change any configuration but i am going to configure wrong submit mask on pc number one 192.168.10.1 slash say 30 and gateway is 192.168.10.10 got it what it's saying note same subnet means destination belongs to note same subnet here i am going to say default gateway is 2 right default gateway is 2 now ping 192.168.20.10 now i am pinging see still i am able to ping how i am able to ping now if you will check the arp table here so arp there is one entry yes or no the mac address of my default gateway every time machine will send traffic to default gateway whenever destination belongs to different network yes so if you have configured wrong submit mask over here no problem it will ping but if you have configured the same network id right on pc1 and pc2 that time it will not ping okay guys so this was the small scenario based network engineer interview question hope it is clear to you one of my paid student faced this question that's why i have made this video if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel pm networking soon we are going to meet again till then stay safe guys bye bye